So maybe you're on a break from school, or maybe you are doing quarantine or social distancing, or maybe you just want to read more in 2020. So I'm here for you. I got you. I have five books recommendations of books I've read in the past year and that I love, and I think you should read as well because I think you're gonna love them. So let's get straight into it. Hi everyone, welcome back. And if you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell to be notified of every time I upload a new video every single week. So now let's get straight into today's video and to the five book recommendations. The first book I have to recommend is called What Alice Forgot by Leah Moriarty. So this book starts with Alice. She wakes up on the floor of the gym and she thinks she's 29 years old. She's pregnant with her first child and she's crazy about her husband. The truth is Alice is 39. She has has three kids and she's getting out of course. So Alice has hit her head and forgot all the events of the past 10 years. So as Alice has to somehow reconstruct what happened, you start wondering whether forgetting is actually a blessing or a curse. I think Leah Moriarty does a great job in this book as she explains what the characters feel and I loved it. It was the first book I read by this author and at the same time it got me so so emotional. I cried like so many times reading it. I don't know exactly why because I'm not Alice at 29 or Alice at 39 but the way she talks about what happened it makes you wonder what happened to my life in the past 10 years what would I change if I could or where do I want to be in 10 years time and what can happen in between I don't know but I just like I love the book and I think you should totally read it the second book I have to recommend is called The Woman in the Window by AJ Fien the main character in this book is Anna Fox Anna Fox used to be a child therapist but then something happened something that you're gonna find out in the book and now she's recluded in her home she has a garophobia she can't go out and the only thing she does is she watches old films she drinks maybe too much wine she talks to her husband her daughter and she watches her neighbors so one day she's watching one of her neighbors and she sees something happen across the street and her whole world changes from that moment so this book is a psychological thriller and of course it has a lot of suspense it has a lot of things that you won't find out until the very very end and although it's becoming a movie very very soon I think you should read the book first the third book I have to recommend is called Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine by Gail Honeman this book is of course about Eleanor she goes into the office during the week then she eats pizza drinks vodka in the weekend she talks to her mom on the phone and she's fine right the thing is like no one told Eleanor she could be more than just fine that life is not about being fine but maybe having fun being in love being happy Everything changes when Eleanor meets one of her work colleagues called Raymond and they start interacting and talking and hanging out. This book is about loneliness, it's about mental health and it's amazing. It took me a while to actually get through the first few chapters but once I started reading it I absolutely loved it and I couldn't put it down. So I think you should totally read it. So the fourth book is called Little Fires Everywhere by Celesta Ng and you probably have heard of this book because it actually has become a show on Hulu starring Kerry Washington and Reese Witherspoon. But as always, I tell you to read the book first. If you haven't watched the show yet, don't. <laughs> read the book first and then you can go and watch the show. This is set in a town called Shaker Heights in Ohio. On one hand, we have Elena Richardson. She's a journalist. She's a mom. She has four children and she's very organized. Everything has to be according to plan, according to a structure. And then one day, Mia Warren, who's a single mom and an artist, moves into Shaker Heights with her daughter, Pearl. And Pearl goes to school with Alina sons and daughters. So the book goes about how they start interacting, how their kids start interacting, and in the end who set Elena's Richardson house on fire. And this is not a spoiler, the house is literally on fire on the very first chapter. So this book is about motherhood, about what it means to be a mother. Do you need a child to be a mother? Are you a mother? If you don't want to be a mother, if you don't want a child, it goes about the relationship between mothers and daughters. I don't know, I think it's amazing. I think the author does a great job describing the character and it's better than the TV show. So read the book first. So the fifth and last book I have to recommend is called Where the Crawdad Sings by Delia Owens. And let me start by saying I love this book. It's probably my favorite book I have read in the past months. This book is about Kia Clark. She's a very young girl when her mom leaves and right after her brothers and her sisters leave as well. So she's left alone with her father. Her father is abusive, drinks a lot. He doesn't work that much. So she's a kid and she's a kid and she has to take care of her, of her dad of the house so of course life is not easy for her and at the same time she's mistreated by the people in the 
town because they live in a house that's like far apart from that in the marsh it's called the marsh girl but time passes Kia of course grows up and she starts some sort of relationships with two different men so that's like one part of the book and the other part of the book that you learn from the very beginning is that a man was found dead and apparently he has been murdered and for years there's been a rumor that this man was in some sort of relationship with the marsh girl with Kia so the book has like two different stories on one hand you see Kia growing up from the moment her mom leaves and she's a little girl and on the other hand you are sort of like living like the present time where the police officers are trying to find out what happened to this guy that was found dead the book is very very good it leaves you just holding there with the suspense until the very very last sentence and not even kidding and I loved it and I think it does a great job describing young woman growing up and at the same time has some sort of like suspense or thriller and I highly highly recommend it so that's it for today's video I hope you liked it if you like reading books you should follow me on Instagram I post reviews of books every single week and at the same time I show you all my Instagram stories when I'm reading at the time you can follow me at Globarada here on Instagram it will be linked down below as well and you can also follow me on Goodreads I publish my reviews over there and you can see what I'm reading there as well if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're new to the channel and of course leave your comment down below and let me know which book you are reading right now if you've read any of the ones I have just mentioned before and which other books you recommend hope you like this video and see you on the next one bye